Assalamu alaikum and a very good morning to all of you. So how are you all doing? Great. That's very good. Okay. Yes, I'm also good. Alhamdulillah. A very warm welcome to all of you in grade one and a very warm welcome to all of you in Edward as well. Okay. So are you guys excited? Yes. How are you feeling in grade one? Huh? Good. That's very good. How many of you are excited about new books, new bags, new friends? All of the things new, new. Okay, that's very good. Okay, well, you know what? Um, in my childhood, I used to be very excited about um, new books because uh, I like the new pages of new books, you know. And um, what I do is in my summer vacation, because um, the new session starts after the summer vacation. So in summer vacation, I used to get the, like the whole book, the whole chapters of Urdu and English book, you know, because I like reading. So, and um, I like to, you know, uh, know about interesting stories. So I, uh, I used to um, read the poems. I used to read the chapters. And uh, so I was very excited about the new books, new geometry, new bag, and all of these things. So you guys also should be excited, right? Okay, that's very cool. Okay, so um, uh, let's start with introduction. I'm Obama Mubarak. And um, I'll be teaching you numeracy, social studies, and your computers class, okay? So um, it's your first day and it's your numeracy class. So um, what uh, we will be doing today is um, actually in the whole week, we will be only revising the things that you have already learned uh, in your previous classes, in your previous grades, okay? So, um, but for today, we will not be doing um, any type of written work. We will just be, um, you know, quickly revising the things verbally. Or if you want to write something, if you have any confusion, you can ask me anytime, okay? So, um, let's start with yours introduction. Uh, you first have to introduce uh, yourself as well, um, because uh, we are meeting for the first time. So, you have to tell me about yourself. Um, you can define in any way, whatever you want to tell. But your name and your um, age is important, okay? So, um, let's start with... Um, the one and okay who wants to introduce um herself or himself first okay raise your hands <laughs> okay uh, the one in the black shirt is very excited yes beta unmute yourself what's your good name okay muhammad ali and how old are you you are six years old okay perfect okay let's uh, move forward yes who wants to uh, tell us now yes unmute yourself What's your good name? You are Sana. Okay. And how old are you? Sana is also six years old. Okay. Yes. Who is next? Okay. Okay. I'm going to unmute yourself by myself. Yes. Who is going to tell us next? Yes. Better John. What's your good name? You are Abdullah. Okay. And how old are you? Abdullah is also six. Okay. So we can assume that the whole class is between 5.6 to Sorry, between five and a half to six years old. Okay. Wonderful. Okay. So, Beta John, let's start with the, the introduction of your book. Uh, which book we will be using? Um, all of you must have this book with you. This is your maths book, Maths Wise uh, from Oxford International. We will be using this book in your course. And um, uh, in your first term, we will be covering only two units. Okay. So um, the first unit is the mostly about the things that you have already learned in your previous years. Like we will revise number names. We will revise how we can write numbers on number line. We will talk about ascending and descending order. We will talk about more and less concept. So all of these things are what you have already learned in your previous classes, right? So and then from next onward, what we will do, we will, add, uh, we will do tables as well from two to five, okay? Um, and um, we will do um, a number names of, uh, for higher numbers. Like you must have, um, you must know the um, uh, name of digits in words till maybe 10 or 20 and we will do onwards. Uh, but then we will also uh, uh, discuss and we will practice some different number operations. We will learn about the role of zero. What is the role of zero exactly? We will do ascending, descending increasing this decreasing order more and less concepts so all of these things would be then in the class um, we will definitely cover 
everything from your book and i'll also give you some extra worksheets uh, for the practice and um, you will have five periods uh, in a week and on every fifth day like on every friday you will have a small weekly assessment in which you will be uh, assessed about what you have already learned in the whole week okay so um, and then we will continue with that so uh, before um, instead of wasting our uh, time let's start our lecture uh, i'm going to share the screen with you and uh, you have to tell me whether it is visible to you or not okay so who is going to tell me whether the screen is visible show me a thumbs up perfect okay so we should always start our every work whatever we are doing with the great name of allah so let's start our work Okay, let's uh, look at some of the classroom rules that are very important for for any class or for virtual class, especially because this is a virtual class. Uh, we are taking these online classes, so the rules would be a little different from the physical classroom. The very first rule is that you are not allowed to turn your camera off during the class. You are supposed to sit in front of the screen, and your camera should be turned on. in all of all of your classes why because the teacher can see you that what you are doing are you paying attention to not are you understanding the lecture or not okay so um when we can see each other we can communicate in a better way right so you have to turn your camera on during the classes the second rule is that you have to raise your hand if you want to say something um in order to not create disturbance in the class in order to maintain discipline the rule is that everyone have to uh say whatever he or she wants to say one by one okay so you have to raise your hand then i'll come to you and definitely listen to what you want to say so okay let's look at the fourth rule which is uh sorry the third rule which is listen when someone is speaking you have to pay attention to whatever is happening in the class even if your teacher is saying something like if i am explaining something or some of uh, someone else from your class or like some of your class fellow is asking about something he is he or she is adding something to my point you have to pay attention to whatever is happening instead of engaging yourself in something personal activities okay and the last but not the least is you have to follow the all of the directions very very quickly okay so that uh, you can do everything very carefully in the marisi usually we have step by step uh, process for everything so if you will not follow my directions if you will not listen to what i am saying you will not be able to do the activities in a proper way Okay, let's look at today's plan. We will have a small number game activity. Then we will watch an interesting video. We will uh, discuss about um, the main topic is identification of numbers. Then we will wrap up with a mental math activity, and then we will have a small reinforcement activity for you. Okay, so let's start with number game. Okay, the number game is you have to tell me about any number that you like. and then you have to tell me why you like this number and there can be any reason for that let's say uh i say that i like number 6 and when you ask me why i would say that it because it's my date of birth okay so you have to tell me any number it can be any and then you have to tell me why do you like this number there can be something good related to that number for example it is your date of birth for example something good happens to you at that day for example um it's your lucky number or there it can be related to something bad let's say some something bad happened to you at that day, okay and so that you remember that number so you have to tell me about any number okay raise your hands i want active participation from all of you so you have to raise your hand and tell me okay one by one okay yes mohammad ali okay what's your favorite number it's number 7 okay and why do you like that because it's your date of birth okay cool uh who else Okay, let's ask Sara. Yes, Sara, what's your favorite number? Number twelve, and why do you like that? <laughs> cool. Okay, Sara, like even numbers. See, so there, they, every one of us likes some number. Okay, who is going to tell me uh, what is the role of mathematics in our life? Why do we do mathematics? Uh, why is this subject important? Where it plays a role in our life? Yes. Okay. Yes, because addition is important. Okay, subtraction. Okay, in which in which fields particularly math is used? Everywhere, excellent. Yes, math is used in our every field of life. Okay, it is related to everything. 
So even if you are um, in your normal routine, in your schools, in universities, in hospitals, everywhere, there is this finance department, there is this something going on mathematical. For that, you need this general introduction to maths, okay? So um, I'm going to show you some of the pictures. And what you have to do is you have to identify the number of elements in the picture. You have to count them. And then you have to tell me how many of them are there, okay? So the very first picture, okay, who is going to tell me what is this? These are oranges, perfect. And how many of them are there? Five, excellent. Okay, let's look at the second one. Okay, what are these? These are butterflies, lovely colorful butterflies. How many of them are there? Six, excellent, okay. Let's look at this picture. Okay, so there are some wonderful pictures, uh, wonderful uh, things in the uh, in this picture okay who is going to tell me um are there any pineapples in this picture yes okay cool how many of them are there well they have given you options as well and you have to choose the right option three excellent okay can anyone see any aeroplane in the picture no any other vehicle mini cars lovely mini cars okay and how many of them how many of them are there Four, wonderful, okay. Can anyone see any ladybirds? Yes, okay, how many of them are there? Five, wonderful, okay. Are there any apples? Yes, how many? No, not nine, count them again. They are eight, excellent, okay. Are there any footballs? How many? Nine. Okay. And there is this yummy thing in the picture. What is this? Pastries. And how many of them are there? Two. Excellent. Okay. Let's move toward the next picture. Okay. There are some, well, this is very um, uh, interesting activity. There are five types of footballs. What you have to do is first you have to identify the type of football and then you have to count their number. Okay. The very first type. Okay. There is this pink patch, then green, then blue and yellow. Find the similar footballs. How many? Two, three, wonderful. Okay, the second one. Again, three, excellent. Let's move toward the third one. Only two, okay, let's move toward the fourth one. Three, wonderful, okay. And the last one, what is the difference between the first and the last one? Who is going to tell me? Yes, the first one has a green patch, then the blue one, but the last one has a yellow patch instead of the green one. Okay, and how many of them are there? Count them again, no, not three, only two. Wonderful, excellent. Okay, let's move forward. Okay. Uh, before uh, going toward the wrap up activity, uh, let's watch an interesting video. I'm going to share the screen again with you so that you can watch an, a video. It would help you revise the number names again. Okay, can you see the video? Okay. Okay, uh, so the students, the video that you have seen is from Edworld channel. The channel is created specially for you guys. All of your uh, related subject videos are uploaded there. Um, there are special playlists meant for you, uh, grade wise, subject wise. So you can go um, just type the topic there and then you will easily find the video and watch the video. It is very important for the understanding. Okay. So um before wrapping up uh, i'm going to ask you a few questions and you have to answer them to me very quickly within seconds okay okay who is going to tell me what comes before five four what comes after eight nine what comes between three and five four okay what comes after two 
Three, wonderful. What comes before six? Five, wonderful. Okay. So uh, what comes between six and eight? Seven. What comes before 10? Nine, excellent. Okay, open your diaries and uh, you have to um, note down this reinforcement activity in your diaries. Well, this activity is your homework. But basically what you have to do at your home, you have to revise number names from one to 10. Open your diary and write this, write today's date and write the reinforcement activity that you have to revise number names from one to 10, okay? So um, this was all for today. In tomorrow's from tomorrow's class, inshallah, we will be doing written work. Definitely, what you have to do at your home is you have to revise number names with their uh, spellings as well. Okay, like the name of digits and words as well. Okay, and in tomorrow's class, I'll be asking you the number names. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed the class. See you in the next class. Until then, take care and Allah Hafiz.